It's a long weekend. Me and my friends decided to take breaks from studies, so we've made a spontaneous decision to go to Sydney. Sydney is three hours drive away from Canberra. You can either choose to travel through train, flight, or bus, but we've decided to drive there by ourselves. On the way to Sydney, we were just chit chatting and chilling on the car, and also enjoying the sceneries. We took multiple stops, managed to stop at Lake George, which is just a few kilometers away from the Canberra, and we also stopped at the petrol station for short refreshments. Uh, we finally arrived in Sydney, and it's quite busy here. It's very different from Canberra. Uh, my friends are just going to the toilet and using the bathroom. I'm just here waiting for them. So the next stop we will be having, I think, Korean fried chicken. Can't wait for that. I'm starting to feel a little bit hungry right now. Though we have like some um, snacks just now, I still feel hungry. Not long after that, we finally reach our destination. My first impression of Sydney is that it is really busy and I'm still amazed by all the tall buildings. It's just so different from Canberra. We've travelled quite a while before we managed to find a place to park our car in the city centre. We were lucky that we only have to pay $12 flat rate to park our car for the whole day in the building. We finally arrived at the place where we were going to have our lunch at. Me and my friends were just so obsessed with Korean food recently that we decided to have our lunch in a Korean restaurant again. I swear it does not just look tasty but it tastes really good too. After having our lunch, we just went on and get snacks while exploring the city. I'm not really a fan of macaroon because I always have the impression of them being overly sweet but I promise the macaroon that we just got from this place tastes so different from what I've had before they have different kind of special flavor like lavender, rose, gin and more Then we went to some Asian bakery shop to continue our food adventure again. We get some pastry and like all of them just taste so good. We also went to some frozen yogurt shop to get frozen yogurt. At this moment, we were just so full and we couldn't eat anymore. So we decided to end our night exploring the Darling Harbour. We were lucky that there's this event called Vivid Sydney when we visit. Alright guys, I will have to end my video here. Thanks for watching and don't remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to join my study journey in Australia. And I will see you guys in my next video.